Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART. This past November, a NASA spacecraft called DART launched on a mission that will end in its destruction on purpose. Now it's setting its sights and taking aim at a 560 foot wide asteroid called Dimorphos that orbits around a larger asteroid called Didymos. On September 26th, DART will accelerate to nearly 15,000 miles per hour and then slam into the asteroid. It's a test, the first ever to demonstrate whether an asteroid can be deflected. So if you think about it, the DART spacecraft, um, the main body of it is about 100 times smaller than Dimorphos, the asteroid that it's targeting. So you can see this isn't going to destroy the asteroid. It's just going to give it a small nudge. It's actually going to deflect its path around the larger asteroid. So we're demonstrating asteroid deflection in this double asteroid system. The pair of asteroids will be close to 7 million miles from Earth when the collision takes place. Dimorphos is, scientists say, the perfect candidate for the test because it's a smaller asteroid, the size that can be nudged, and neither it nor its big brother Didymos are a threat to the Earth. Put plainly, NASA wants to make sure the technique works before using it on a genuine threat. The space agency tracks the known asteroids meandering through the solar system, but right now couldn't do anything about it if one were heading our way. If we can predict uh, an impact threat to the Earth if, if we know about the asteroid and, and have tracked it uh, decades uh, in advance or know the day uh, that it uh, could impact the Earth uh, out into the future as much as uh, 100 years into the future. So that's really the key uh, of planetary defense. So we're going to try to demonstrate this, this asteroid kinetic deflection method, uh, which is really the moment that that, that spacecraft crashes into the asteroid. Shane is going to be the asteroid, um, and I'm going to be the NASA dark mission. And we'll look at the effect of that mass coming at him and the kinetic energy transfer from the CTB to Shane. All right, here it comes. <laughs> Time is on their side for now. Of the roughly 27,000 known near-Earth asteroids, planetary scientists say nothing appears to be out there that would threaten Earth for at least another century. That gives NASA and the rest of the world some time to find approaches and technologies that would work. Uh, the message is that our strategy is to have a toolbox of uh, several different techniques uh, um, after uh, 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 you know, many years of testing uh, different things. There will likely be more impact tests, perhaps on a larger scale, and there are other techniques researchers want to try, like parking a spacecraft near an asteroid and letting the gravitational tug nudge it. There's also a belief that painting the asteroid white will change the amount of sunlight it reflects, which would create thrust redirecting it. DART is the opportunity to see how an asteroid reacts when it gets smacked. We know a lot of asteroids are maybe like rubble piles. They're kind of things kind of put together. So how dense and how closely packed are these materials or how, um, how distributed are they can also really contribute. So it's really doing this real world test on a real asteroid is, is why we need to do DART. Any or all of the techniques might prove to work. But the caveat is this. Nudging an asteroid that's on a collision course with Earth will slightly change its trajectory enough that over time it would miss us but over time means you might have to hit it 100 years before it's supposed to hit us for my radar i'm john zarella Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.